How did you react or what did you think when Michael Jordan referred to you as a little bitch or the first time he saw you? Didn't he use that expression? I, it was I don't think that was the first time he saw me. We was at the um we was at the um the All-Star game uh the year that what I, that had to be my rookie year. It was um the year that they gave out they was uh they did the top 50 yeah um guys. Yeah. And um and I was I think I was coming off the court from something and I saw him and they were getting ready to go on because he had his jacket on and he just grabbed me. It's a, it's a photo out there with him having me like in a headlock. And he was just like, you know, what's up, you little <laughs> But no, it was no disrespect in it. And then I didn't take it that way anyway. I was just happy for him just saying anything to me. <laughs> but but when you see yourself cross over Mike twice, like it's pretty impressive. Like, what do you think? Yeah. I mean, it, it was, it was, um, it was against, you know, it was against black Jesus. And I always, I always told uh, my friends growing up, you know, that um, if I ever got an opportunity to try my move on the best that ever played the game that I would. And, um, you know, it was just a moment. It just happened. And, you know, I, I backed them up and I did it. And I, I really didn't know the significance of it when it first happened um, because I was just into the game, just playing the game. But then in the aftermath of everything, seeing it all on ESPN and, you know, all on the news and everybody talk about it, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I I, I really um, I really did something. But, you know, thinking back on it, um, I had got guys way worse than that, but it was just the fact that it was him. You know what I mean? And the crazy part about it is he still almost blocked it. I know. So I know. That's the testament of, of, of how tough he was and how great he was. But he, he didn't still, say anything to you, did he, after you did it? Uh, Nah, um, he, he didn't say nothing to me um, um, until years later. I went to, because um, I live in Charlotte, so I went to a, a Hornets game. And, uh, you know, me and him were, I, I guess it was an area in the back way, you know, he chilled at, at halftime. And he had me back there, and we were just talking. And I just kept telling him how much I loved him and, and how much he meant to my life and, and my career. And, um, I, you know, telling him I wouldn't have had that vision of playing basketball if it wasn't for him. And he was like, you don't love me that much. You wouldn't cross me like that. <laughs> and we laughed, about it. we laughed about it. But what's crazy with him is I get around him. And I've been around him so many times, you know, since the first time I met him. And I still get, like, nervous. I still, you know, just just fidgety around him all the time, you know, because I love him so much. And, you know, he's still, like, when I see him, you know, he don't look real. He's like he got a some type of <laughs> a glow about him or something, an aura, you know what I mean? He just don't seem, he's the only person in my life that I've ever met and he don't look human to me. But there has to be these younger players that look up to you the way you looked up to Jordan. That's one of the greatest feelings in the world, you know, especially with me being here with my um, All-American game, you know, with my classic and, you know, the way they look at me, the way I have their attention when I'm talking and, um, it's just it, it kind of it 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 makes me feel like okay this how you was you know or this how you are with him and it's just a great feeling to see that you know guys grew up off of me and um you know love me the way I the way I love him you know it's just a, it's just a blessing.